how to understand controls of an airplane. Greetings people, today we're going to teach you how to control an airplane. So let's start. Steps to understanding the controls of an airplane. First, after getting into your airplane, initiate an inspection of the aircraft by going through the instruction manual. Second, after getting jacked into your seat, wear a seat belt and become comfortable. Third, in your front, you will find a yoke which acts similarly to a steering wheel. Fourth, in the yoke, you push down to go down, pull to go up, and use the left and right to roll. Fifth, the next step is to locate the throttle and fuel mixture controls. You'll find them between the two seats in the cockpit and as the black knob and red knob. Six, it's absolutely essential that you familiarize yourself with the instruments of the flight. You'll find six primary flight instruments located along two horizontal rows. The first of the six instruments are on the top left of your console. You'll find an airspeed indicator, which shows the speed of the aircraft in nautical miles per hour. The second instrument is on the top center of your console, and you'll find the artificial horizon, which will show you the attitude that the aircraft is in, whether the plane is climbing or descending, and how it's banking, going left or right. The third instrument is on the top right of your console. You'll find that it is the altimeter, which will show you the height or altitude of the aircraft in feet above sea level. On the lower left of your console, you'll find the turn and bank indicator, which is a dual instrument that will show you how fast you're changing the compass, heading, or rate of turn, and also whether you are in coordinated flight. In the lower center of your console, you'll find the heading indicator, which will show you the current compass heading of your aircraft. You'll have to calibrate this instrument every 15 minutes by adjusting the instrument to agree with the compass. And lastly, on the lower right, you'll find the vertical speed indicator, which will tell you how fast you're climbing or descending in feet per minute. If this shows zero, it means that you're maintaining altitude at a constant level. The seventh step towards understanding controls of an airplane, you'll be able to find the landing gear controls of your plane on your console. The use of the landing gear knob will deploy your landing gear or close the wheels below your airplane. Eight, you'll find the rudder pedals of the airplane on your feet. These pedals control the rudder, which is attached to the vertical stabilizer of the airplane. The rudder pedals of your aircraft control the yaw of your airplane. When the plane is going through a taxi, use your rudder pedal to turn and not the yoke. Note, this is just a guide towards understanding the operational controls of your airplane. This doesn't give you any authority or certification to fly an airplane. It's recommended that you go through a proper training with your instructors before flying. In the next video, we'll teach you how to take off in your airplane. This is it, guys. Make sure you go through all these steps thoroughly before getting on a plane. Share with us your experience in the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.